when Jay left, it was a big surprise for everyone, I think. Uh, then I had to fill in for his responsibilities as a general manager. So it was a lot to, to take for the first days and the first weeks. Yeah, our head coach left and then our general manager left and then we were still uh, the same number of coaches. Like basically at some point we were three people to take care of five people uh, job. Being thrown into that can be very scary. But I think we, at this point, everyone is comfortable with what they're doing. And I think Albus is doing well. Heading into week 19, uh, we had the Battle of Canada coming up versus Vancouver. Uh, those games were always very exciting for us, I think. It was obviously Numlock's first game as well. So I think a little bit of change for us in the roster as well. Uh, coming with a new main tank, a little bit more leadership in that regard. It was the, the team's like first 3-0. Um, so obviously it felt really good coming in and having that as my first game. And that is going to be the Toronto Defiant taking the map and taking the series. I, I just remember we put Namlock in and yes. then and then it was over. It was like, I think yeah. it started and it was over. It was like, okay, 3-0, fair enough. He's been playing pro for like years and years, like in TF2 and stuff like that. So he just has like a more voice and he's more confident to say what he needs to say. There were no nerves really. He did his, he did his job. He was leading well in that game. And, um, he definitely deserved the 3 0 in his first game. Atlanta this season, it just feels like our counter team, more yes. or less, our arch enemy. So, guys, welcome back. Atlanta Rain facing up against the Toronto Defiant on your screens rather soon. I think starting uh, for us going against Atlanta, I think I'm not sure if people aren't confident anymore or people are, have like a mental barrier at some point. I think. We just need to get past that and just like accept our aggression and be just as aggressive. We want to set up a plan, but they are already in our face and it's like, wait, 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 just give us like one more moment to do, like plan what we want to do. We kind of got one over, we didn't really, we weren't able to adapt to their style and uh, it just countered what we were planning to do. OT wasn't even needed in Atlanta rain, clean sweep the series 3-0. I think like the, the week leading into that map or that match against Dallas, like we were actually really confident. Like the scrims went really well, and then we played the match and we just like did not play at all how we played in, in scrims. That's when we thought like this is actually like our chance to you know be good in the meta and, and win some games. And then we got three by like one of the worst teams. Brady came back, Genji is back, so uh, finally Brady got his chance again. Uh, he deserved the chance. We did like really well in scrims, and it was one of those matches where. We expect that we like completely wall our enemy, but then something, I don't know, something doesn't click and instead of us walling them, we just get uncomfortable. We, we don't execute our strategy. We start to panic because everything is going wrong and then things go even more wrong and like it's just escalated into this like completely disappointing game for um, all of our players and I bet the fans as well. Dallas <laughs> Fuel will take the W on Gibraltar 3-0 in the series as well. I think there were just a lot of like um, a lot of individual mistakes there that we don't normally make but I mean that, that game kind of kicked us into gear for the summer showdown so. Yeah, you think about it, you have Agilities and Kariv where they're facing off against their former team uh, and also facing off against uh, kind of the guy leading the charge and packing 10 where a little bit of words back and forth we've seen between these two teams, Jake. Yeah, we're picking Toronto um, and we just think they're bad. So um, <laughs> that's kind of all I have to say. We knew we were confident in the meta and we knew we had like good weeks of scrims and we were all like meshing well together. So like even though he talked or whatever, like, you know, it just felt good to beat him. Well, let's try the next series. Yeah, well, unfortunately for the Valiant, there is no next series, at least within the showdown. They are eliminated. So I thought, okay, if you talk, then you have to talk like for real. So that's when I showed him how to talk. <laughs> I first of all boomed all their players by saying GG's, thanks for the warm up in the lobby. And then I obviously doubled down on Twitter as well. Maybe it was a bit too much, but I, I think it was fine. I think the overall confidence level of the team was like really well. Yeah. So uh, we weren't scared of Atlanta, we weren't scared of Valiant. It's the same thing, we're doing well in scrims, we know we can go far in this tournament. 
We won the map because we were better than Valiant. We, we are obviously a good team in this meta. And then it just starts to click. Talander are the true gatekeeper team. They do not lose to teams that are underneath them in terms of the, the standings at any point. And so... The match was extremely close, but I think we deserved the win. Like, based on the statistics, it looks really bad. But we know we have a chance because we are just playing really well in this meta. In those three days that we played, or two or three days leading up to the Summer Showdown and the Summer Showdown itself, I think we really, like, our attitude was like completely, completely different. Like people were really working together. People were really trying to make things work. People were like super optimistic, uh, positive, and like the little things just like clicked in between us. Map five scenario. And the map that we're going to be staging it all on is of course going to be Nepal. We went all the way to map five. And when we entered it, like the players were hyping each other and they were all on the same page and they were all so enthusiastic. And it's like in those, uh, the sports anime where you you watch it. <laughs> it's really true. And and you get to like map five and you're like, let's do this, let's <laughs> go. And like everyone is super hyped for, yeah. for this final map. And then you go up against this huge rival of yours that like beat you in every <laughs> match this season. Mm. And you think, and like all is set up for you to lose, but you go into the last map, you're, there might be like small doubts, but the whole team is so hyped to actually win this that like just, just the confidence alone brings you there. We, we made top four, we've showed them all what we've got, and now we have nothing to lose. So the match against Philly is like, okay, we've got nothing to lose, let's, let's go on, let's just keep pushing. I think overall, yeah, the first two us were competitive, obviously them edging out to wins. Uh, you know, never want to be in that position. Um, but I think overall we were happy with our first two maps. Can't say enough good things about the Toronto Defiant for showing the amount of just play that they were able to do this weekend where they really brought things back from the brink. They got further than anyone was ever able to expect from them. I think right now we are in a position where we can say we are ending higher where we started. It feels like we are doing really well right now in the meta. It feels like we are on an upward trend and hopefully we can continue that. I don't know what the playoffs hold, I don't know what the Countdown Cup holds, but at least currently, right now, I think that we could make top four in North America. And like, if things go really well, I don't, uh, if things go really well, maybe we could make top two and actually go to like the, the grand finals. Uh, the team has definitely, there's been like stride, big strides in the improvements that has been made. Um, so I think everyone feels that in terms of morale and like attitude towards the games. There is obviously something there and we're capable of like having these close games versus these top teams. So we've got to, we've got to push, push that forward and like try and expand on that and make it, um, make it hold throughout the rest of the series as well.